My name is Chris White. Uh, I live in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, I'm retired. Kind of thinking about the little things one does to try to kind of do something to help with climate change. We have a nice south-facing roof here. We've always kind of looked at that and go, oh, this would be perfect for solar. I think we're going to have more and longer power outages. And uh, my wife has a number of health conditions that mean that if we don't have power, we can't stay here. We can't kind of, kind of try to tough it out through a power outage in the summer or the winter. Uh, and so the solar um, is a means to do something to allow us to stay in our house and do reasonably well with a power outage. What we're trying to get to is uh, eliminating the need to be burning fossil fuels to produce, to produce energy. Um, and that's a pretty daunting prospect, uh, trying to get there. But we see examples in some other places, that's for sure, some other countries that have gone a lot further than uh, the United States has done in terms of um, getting the whole community uh, weaned off of, of being a, uh, fossil fuels for electricity. looking at how you can do community solar. Um, the opportunity, everybody can't put solar panels on their house. They, they don't have uh, the, the, the means to do it or the, the layout to do it. Uh, and a way to do that is to have community, uh, solar installations that are larger at like uh, high school or other kinds of land where uh, the community can buy into it. Um, you might do it so that uh, uh, people kind of specifically buy a share in it and it's still kind of locally owned in that sense but it's not necessarily on their house or you can do it as a community project. 